there's this guy that I met. If me, I don't say yes to him, he's going to commit suicide. Take it seriously. If it doesn't end well, you know you've tried your best. Every relationship, if it doesn't end in breakup, it will end in marriage. It's even making it look like you will not see husband in university. Ah, you cannot see husband again in your life. Relationship is not a trophy. Don't settle for less. Please, if you want to play game, go to play store. Don't use somebody hard to play. But I'm guessing there, and Talero Kolaba, okay, where where your tea worry? You read this book, it never ends high. But that I want they pay 60k, whatever k they paid to get you a book. Kilo mwa loli oku. We find some that I want institution service better than some couples life that some girls are living in school. That is why I don't really judge people when I see them doing some things. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Midi once again and I am back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about dating in uni as you must have seen from the title. I'm going to be dropping my own opinion on what I understand about dating in university. I just feel like this is something that we don't really talk about and that's why I'm here for people that would actually listen. I can't cover everything but the few things I'm able to cover, I hope that you'll be able to learn a thing or two. So while I'm going to be doing this video, I'm going to be doing my makeup as i am talking to you guys i hope that i am able to going to start with my wipes i'm going to wipe my face i'm going to share my own backstory before going to do it i have this imagination you know say imagination now in the sweet path for this life if you're an aspirant i also imagine it's not only you you're not the only one on this table i had a lot of things in my head at that time so i'm going to make the love of my life you know fall in love you know do all those mushy mushy stuff that was what i had in mind before going to uni but i'm guessing there <laughs> i did not meet the love of my life in uni i did explore the dating scene in uni but i really didn't see anything serious god just knows how he does these things i had the mind i was going to explore those things but when i got to school I met very good people that were fellowship people christian and i joined a campus fellowship where i was a worker so one of our rules as a worker in that fellowship is to not be in a relationship if i next to you know this you know this fellowship i'm talking about so the first thing i'm using is foundation of course this foundation has has been through the day all the time jesus i can't believe that this there is a lot of water in this foundation oh my god this foundation has spoiled it i didn't even know because if you know that i use this foundation you are going to just use my pro concealer as foundation he said that we should not be in a relationship me too me too i did listen no maybe god kind of used that to like protected me from the dating scene as another that we say, I feel like relationship is not one of the things that you should be more concerned about in your hundred level days. You should just focus on your academics, focus on good friendships, focus on the opportunity. Because most of the times, another level student, you don't really know what is going on, especially if you have not like gone to any institution before. For some people, they've gone to poly before they come to uni, so you can't compare yourself to anybody. Maybe you, you are just a jam bite that like just coming from home, and you can't use secondary school dating to compare university. Maybe now that what I've spoiled, low, don't compare yourself to anybody that, hey, my friend is doing this, I can also do it. You, you don't know the kind of orientation, you don't know where they are coming from, you don't know the experiences that they've had. I'm going to continue talking to you guys like this because I can't find my beauty blender. So I sent my younger brother to help me get it. I hope you guys don't mind. People are now taking relationship in uni as like trophy, as like the main BS that they came to collect. First of all, the one thing that brought you to school is your education. Relationship is also good. If you can bag both, like bag your relationship and bag good grades, that's fine. If your relationship is going to affect your grade, I feel like it's not everybody that can combine both together. Especially if you are dating people that are taking much of your time. Like some people are doing couples life in school. In case you have not heard of it, there's something called couples life, which means that the lady and the guy are going to be staying together, living together while dating each other. There's different couples life now. They are different. There are some couples life that the lady and the guy they will be cooking together, they'll be doing their stuff together. But there are some there are some of these couples' life that it is the guy that will be doing everything. The guy will just be providing money. It's literally like the situation of daddy and mommy at home. We find some daddy and mommy situation service is better than some couples' life that some girls are living in school. I'm looking at them and I'm like, some people's mommy are not even doing this kind of stress in their husband house. And you're putting this stress on your head, on yourself, in uni, with all this educational stress. But sometimes as I'm coming back from class, I've already gotten 
fried fish that we used to go and take Ali when I get to. Mo mugari tamba i mo boss or the bed I'm just imagining that. So kakbe me so I'm in a relationship that is in couple's life now. I will not get back from this hectic lecture and now come back and wrong guy is telling me that so what are we having? Is it a Malan F4 or something something? It's good though. I don't have any issue with anything. It's your life. Let's be frank. Couple's life. Kosilare in university. Please don't indulge in that. Don't do it. No matter what these guys say, there are some people that it is not that they want to do it actually, and that is why I don't really judge people when I see them doing some things. It's a situation. Some people do not have money for those things. You tell a farmer soon or titi or inside lecture. Oh, I, I won't judge you for that. But now you have hostel, one hostel friend. But that day I remember they pay sixty k, whatever k they paid to get you a room. Kilo mo aloli oku. Why are you there? If you are doing it and it's a situation that got you there, God of heaven is going to provide you a space of your own. Don't let anybody be aware you. The way they will put it down, you will not see any big deal in it. Normal person does say, when you day inside all these couples' life themselves, okay, where your tea worry? You read this book, it never ends high. You can be in a relationship, eh? Visit your boyfriend or all those things. But when you are not living with him, yeah. Ah, it's not proper. As a man, so don't advise somebody to come and be staying with you. And they also come and carry their own load in their life to come and meet you because some girls, it's not that like they love you. They don't love you. They don't want to do for somebody that they will leech on and will be feeding them. They know that you, as a man, should provide those things. And that's why you must be very careful and you know, joke with your heart. Now, I know that there are some of you people who say you get that bad mind to break somebody's heart that you are a player, you want to play the game. And I'm going to tell you this, please, if you want to play game, go to Play Store, go to App Store, whatever phone you are using, go there. They have a lot of fine, fine, fine games. Don't use somebody hard to play. So, my busy blender is... First thing I want to talk about is this narrative that I've been, I've been coming across it and it's actually getting to me like, okay, I need to talk about this. This narrative that... Why would I come to university and spend four years or five years or whatever years you are going to be spending in uni and I will not go home with a man or wrong? There's no point finding a man that is going to end up breaking your heart after school. And it's even making it look like you will not see husband in university. Ah, you cannot see husband again in your life. Ah, ah, me, I'm short of word because it's the only university that you are going to do in this life. You are still going to serve, you are going to work, you are going to, for people that want to do masters, you are going to do your masters, you can meet your life partner anywhere. Relationship is not a trophy. I once met a guy that was in 400 level when I met him. I was in 300 level then. So, we was talking about relationship and I'm like, okay, let's take a chill pill. And this guy was like, I'm in 400 level, I'll be graduating in a few weeks time, I need to actually go meet someone, I don't have anybody, and I've been praying to God, da 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 da. Because of that, because he's graduating in a few weeks time, I have to give him a serious answer now. So at least if he's going home, he knows that okay, he has one girlfriend somewhere because he cannot go home empty handed. Sorry, oh, your BS in cough. <laughs> Where will you put that one? I'm like, there's no need to be in a hurry. If you mean waiting, you talk, say you love me, I want to marry me, talk, talk. like you said, then you are going to spend a lifetime together, like you're going to spend numbers of years together as married couple, like you said. So, why are you rushing me? Give me time to think about it. Because every relationship, if it does not end in breakup, it will end in marriage. Except for people that don't have plans of getting married, which is absolutely fine because it's your life. But if you know you had that, okay, I'm planning to get married at some point in time in my life, I'm going to have to settle down and start up my own life with my significant other. Definitely, you don't want to waste your time spending your emotions, your time, your effort, your money on someone that you know deep down that any year will be fair. I used to think that okay, it's good to explore, it's good to just go with the flow, just do what you want. But if you don't define what you are into, you are just going to keep on wasting your time. Two years, three years with this one, two years with this one, one year with this one, few months with this one, time is going. Time will reveal what your intentions are. That's why you should not rush into anything. Don't rush into relationships, don't rush into friendships. If this person is here for the goodies alone, time will reveal. That's why you should take your time for anything you want to do in this life. Take your time. All these things, eh? don't be in a hurry to experience it. Don't feel pressured because all my friends are in a relationship. And I'm not saying that your friend's relationship is 
bad or it's going to spoil. I'm just saying that your own will come when the time is right. You still have a lot of things to do in this life. They are still going to miss people. You meet people every day. Every single day I enter the school while I was still in uni, I meet someone new that I've not met ever in my life before. And if it's not going to be a good relationship, I don't see reasons why you should go into it. But at the same time, if you see someone good, if you see someone that treats you well, go for it. But I'm just saying that if it's not coming, if you're not getting something good, if you're not getting what you deserve, don't settle for less. In fact, there are some relationships that is not like the guy is a bad person or the girl is a bad person. It's just that the timing was bad. You can do talking stages, you can talk to people, also be open, be open to friendships. From there, something might spring up. There's no perfect anybody anywhere. There are going to be flaws that you see in this person. There are some things that you can like overlook, like maybe physical preference. Some people say, I can't date a light skin nigga, I can't date a dark skin nigga. But there are some things that you can't overlook, and that's the things that I'm talking about. Like abusive relationship, relationship that is drawing you back. There's this guy that I met. We met during Ashley Strike in Ibadan. When we were talking, Rosa got to know that okay, he's a saint of my school. Oh wow, so you also attend X. Yeah. Okay, I can't really say yes to you now. If you're asking me out in a relationship, there has to be a level or depth that we've got into. We just met a few weeks ago and he wants us to be in a relationship for the work. So this guy was like, if me I don't say yes to him, he's going to commit suicide. How will you say that you're gonna commit suicide if I don't say yes to you? Are you are you dumb? That's dumb. But anyways, I also met another person. Then I was in throne level. I think he was also in throne level. We were talking and all, and he said, hey, I like you. I've not met someone like your vibe before. Da, 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 da. We met, we just met outside. So he wanted me to come inside that day. I don't go inside though. Is this you? Yes, this me too. Thank you. Go bye. As a lady, let me now say this. If you are meeting a guy for the very first time, don't go and meet him at home. Meet him in a public place. If he doesn't have money to take you out on a proper date, maybe to a restaurant or something, you can meet inside the school. You don't have an excuse that, okay, we don't have where to meet, that's why I'm going to his apartment. You don't want to fall a prey of one psychopath or a rapist. Because I ended up getting to know that this guy is a big psychopath. There are a lot of psychopaths, there are a lot of fine boys that look like fine boys, but upstairs, one sick in bed, both to consume it to glory one. No matter how much you have taken your time, no matter how much you like them, I still think that prayer is very paramount in relationship. Especially if you are looking forward to someone that you want to have something good to do with, you should still pray about it. Because things that you cannot see with this, your naked eyes, God is going to reveal it to you. Just be sensitive. Something just happened and you just get to know, okay, this person is not someone that I should have something to do with. Don't mind my brows, I'm just learning. You are going to meet your own person one day that is going to treat you right the way you deserve to be treated. If you meet someone good in university, don't joke with it. Take it seriously. If it doesn't end well, you know you've tried your best. We've seen good university relationships that ended in marriage. And I'll see you guys in my next video.